morning. So this morning I was up at probably about five o'clock because I was really excited about starting a YouTube channel and had loads of ideas and had my little torch on under the blanket writing all my ideas down. So I tried to go back to sleep and I couldn't. So I thought, I know, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna do one of those videos where you watch YouTube and you learn how to make a YouTube channel because I haven't actually made one yet. Anyway, so this was like six o'clock. By nine o'clock, I'd tried about 15 times to make a YouTube channel and had cry in my eyes because the, what the man was saying to me, even though he had like, 1.5 million views on his channel what was on his channel wasn't what was on my phone or my ipad thing so it didn't work so i was very upset so i went upstairs and told ryan and he was showing me how to do it on his phone which he did in about two seconds but then he dropped his phone right on my head <laughs> which really, really hurt and also put cry in my eyes again. So that is the start to my day today. And now we're going to the tip. Right, if we lived on the North Island, I'd be mega excited about going to the tip because Brian, the, he lived in Hythe. And when you go to the tip in Hythe, it's like got its own shop, I know shut the front door it's got its own shop so from that shop when I've been on tip trips with him I've bought Fortnum and Mason baskets and I got a Zara coat for one pound the Isle of Wight tip is not that exciting and I forgot to say so I sent and I forgot to say I sent my first little video clips to my daughter Ella and said what do you think because I'm starting a YouTube channel and she was like mum your head is so close to the actual video thing it's literally like that against my nose so I went online on Amazon and bought myself a selfie stick so now look oh, I'm in the car and my nose isn't touching the glass. I know. You're welcome. So we're just coming into braiding on the mount. And we're going to go up to Culver and go for a walk up there. And we'll be able to see the views of Benbridge and Sandown. Yaveland and this is Brian <laughs> trees so where it's been like really windy all the time and they're out in the elements <laughs> <laughs> I should do like a wildlife program they're all blown over in half oh. and this is the fort we don't know the name of but we did go inside it in the summertime and when we get there, I'll let you know what the name is. Okay, Benbridge Fort. What? We're not in Benbridge. Well, not Culver Fort. Oh. Old Fort. <laughs> Old Fort. <laughs> Fingers down. <laughs> I know, right? Every time I try and think I'm pressing the right button, I press the wrong button. But look how far away I can go. So this is how people do their filming on the actual YouTube and it looks like a human's filming them but they're not because they've just got one of them long selfie sticks. It's really good. And look, oh, I don't know how to turn you round. Now I've got to look. So we're going to get to the fort in a bit. I think we should do a drum roll every time we get to new places. Look, there's a little boat out there. Sounds like a helicopter. 
Right, we're here. Yeah, I thought that was oh my goodness, it's called Benbridge Fort. You were right. Oh, and we're not in Benbridge. That's because I'm a local. Well, you're not though, are you? So... This is where we actually went inside it. So the fort's open for tours every Tuesday at 2pm, but you have to book. That's National Trust. It's another National Trust place. That's how you get in. Then when you actually get... Oh my God, look at these. Why I'm coming. <laughs> what is that? Meh. Do you want to be on the video? Sheeps. Is that sheep? Yeah. Oh my god, look, they're just looking at me like it's... Isn't that a bit dangerous if it falls off the edge? Well, I'm sure they're pretty, um, adapt. Quite adept. So, you know mohair? I reckon that's what it's made of when you said to me, what's mohair made of? Some rams. And I'll be like really, really allergic to that. Yeah, unless you fall in the moat thing. So Brian's moaning because he didn't realise how far away we'd actually parked from the top of Culver. So I was just coming over to show you the view from up here, which is pretty amazing. So what's that? I did. Where? Compass what? of like all the different places. Let me see. Oh, bus park. Ah. So. La Half. I've sailed to La Half. Have you? 98 miles, yep. Very exciting. Cherbourg. So we've got holiday caravan parks down there, which is Benbridge. We've stayed in them quite a few times. We're going to stay when we have our little holiday party. So we're coming up to a tower, but we're not actually sure what it's called. Culver Tower. I don't think it is called Culver Tower. So we're coming up to the tower. We're going over the cattle grid. If I spin you round, you can see all the way across the bay into Shanklin, Sandown Pier, Yavlin. So here's the tower. Well, in a minute. It's called a tower, but... Well, it is though, look, because it's a long thing sticking in the sky, which is a tower. More like an obelisk. <laughs> here's the obelisk. <laughs> Here she comes, Queen of Sheba, just in pajamas again. I'm not dressed in pajamas, and there's lots of cow poop. Oh, we need to find out what the obelisk is called. It's a bit Fantastic views around here. I've just said he was one of the most conscientious for the qualities which peculiarly adorn that station. And as the first Commodore, oh, there's a plane taking off. Oh, look, there's a plane taking off. <laughs> Culver Haven and this one is actually open. Oh, 
it's nice and warm in here. Hmm? Might have a hot chocolate. Lovely day. So over there is Portsmouth with the Spinnaker Tower. Okay, so we've just found out it's the Earl of Yarborough's monument. There you go, that's some interesting facts for you. Walking through there actually, get some nice views down here. Okay, we can take the peeps with us. Video's really quiet now, it's because I've got a voice for radio. Don't interrupt, darling. 